It is Thursday, the 17th of November, and this is Love Notes, daily devotions from Holy Trinity Lutheran Church. Welcome. We continue now in the fourth chapter of Colossians, beginning at the second verse. The first word of this passage grabs me, devote, devote yourselves to prayer. I pray every day. You'd expect that, right? I'm a pastor. But I wonder if I devote myself to it. Devotion is something deeper than just a a thing on my to-do list that I need to get done. Devotion to my wife is that I express my love. Devotion to a vocation or some other thing in life means that I really invest myself. I wonder if Paul is saying here that I should invest myself to prayer. Devote yourself to prayer. And then he says, keep alert. Keep alert in your prayer with thanksgiving. This is really wise counsel. It catches me here because I have trouble Voicing gratitude for the world that we live in, for the people in my life, if I'm not awake and alert to seeing it. I can walk right through a beautiful fall day like it is today with the beautiful colors of the leaves on the ground and the birds in the trees. I can walk right through and see nothing of what God has made. The beauty is lost on me. For me to give gratitude and praise, I have to stop and I have to look and I have to listen. Same thing is true of people. I can take people for granted, so wrapped up in myself. To devote myself to prayer and to keep alert in thanksgiving, that might be the best instruction for prayer that I've ever read in the scripture. After giving that general instruction, I'm struck at verse 3 that Paul then boldly says, at the same time, pray for us as well. And notice what his prayer is, that God will open to us a door for the word, that we may declare the mystery of Christ for which I am in prison, so that I may reveal it clearly as I should. There's kind of a symbolic thing going on in the language, I think. Open a door. Well, he's in prison. He's hoping that that prison door will open. But notice it's not just to escape, to get gone from the prison experience. No, he wants the door to be open so he can declare Christ to whoever he finds, that the mystery of Christ might be enabled by him being released to to speak before Caesar, to speak before his jailers. Paul is always looking for the opportunity to glorify God first and his own freedom second. I have a little bit of a a puzzle in my mind at verse 5. Conduct yourselves wisely toward outsiders, making the most of the time. He goes on to say, let your speech always be gracious, seasoned with salt so that you may know how you ought to answer everyone. It seems like these two verses come together to say that my purpose for speaking and talking to people who are outsiders, outside the church, I suppose, is to invite them in. That's what it's about. You see, if Christ has reconciled me, then my words can reconcile others, not to me, but to Christ. Take a moment now to formulate from these notes and your own notes a prayer to God. Voice that prayer to God, the challenges, the comforts, the things that you ponder, the questions you have. And then sit in silence for a bit and wait for the Lord to speak. Amen.